Hey everybody, this is Rado, and we are back with more FTL. Last couple episodes, we have not gotten anywhere. We did our first, very first run after the tutorial on normal, then we did a run on easy, and we didn't get anywhere on either one of them. <laughs> same old, same old start screen. Not gonna read it. I will only be reading um, new screens. I start that pretty fast, but that's the right way to do it. Let's see. Charge up things. Now, is it the wrong mistake? I wonder to buy another reactor thing. It's in what I remember, it's almost never the wrong mistake to buy another energy things if you've already got the upgrades. Last episode we lost all of our crew and really if you lose even one crew you're, you're gonna be struggling to lose two like I did didn't have a lot of chance. What we're gonna try and do this run is just race. So I want the most distance possible towards the exit. I have to hope that this one will be able to connect to this one because if this one doesn't connect to that one I'll have to go back here and try and connect to that one but we're just gonna try and race we're gonna avoid fights we're gonna do everything we can okay so refueling I could get three fuel for five scrap whereas it would be six if I bought that so buying in bulk is actually helping well, it doesn't, it's the same deal here, 6 fuel for 12 scrap, 3 fuel for 5 scrap, 2, no, it's the same for all of them, never mind. Uh, I'm not going to buy anything. I don't think we're going to need it. We have yet to get to the point where we've run out of fuel. We keep dying way before then. So we, we're probably not going to make it to the end, but we're going to... Um, going to try to get as close. A missile shoots across your bow as the jump completes. It reveals a pirate pursuing an unknown vessel. They hail you and say they weren't expecting company and that we can take their bribe and stay out of it. Last time we tried to be the hero, didn't get us anywhere. This time let's just take the bribe. Good choice, son. We've both come out of this richer. So we get a missile, a drone part, and 13 scrap. Nice. Hmm. So, having a lot of fire issues before, upgrading your door system might be smart. I won't do it now. I'm going to hold on to it. Our, our gold and such, our scrap. But we may do it later. Just trying to get out of Sector 1 for the first time. Okay, so I... You see a small station fitted with hundreds of repair drones. We receive an automated message. We don't know who you are and we don't care, but this is the right place for some ship repair. So, if I had hull damage, this is one of the few locations where you can repair it. So if I had 5 damage, I could pay 10 scrap and get repaired. I could pay 20 scrap for 10 damage. You don't get a lot of options here. I, I think if you click this and you have 20 damage, you don't have the option to click it again. So you have to choose carefully. Also, if you have like 12 damage and you only click five well you're not gonna get that option to, to click five again uh, I just used the same example twice in a row that was dumb anyway let's keep going we're gonna keep running towards the exit hopefully we can make it to the exit from this point we're immediately contacted by the settlement by a settlement hello travelers here seems your ship seems to be outfitted for combat. Care to take up a bit of mercenary work? 
normally I'd say listen to the offer, but we're avoiding all fights. This is going to be total pacifist mode. We're going to decline. And most of these options, when you have an option to decline, nothing else happens. You're just done. So let's get to the exit. We arrive at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Debris from a battle is scattered around the system. A few places, a few pieces bounce against your ship. You passively scan them and discover there's functioning weapon amongst them. Hermes missile and scrap, 11 scrap. So, that was pretty good. So, I have the Hermes missile. Let's go look at our ship. The Hermes missile requires 3 power, 14 seconds to charge. Where this takes 12 seconds to charge and this takes 11 seconds. It requires a missile and it does 3 damage per, per shot. Whereas this missile does 2 damage per so shot. Both I believe have a shield piercing of 5, a low fire chance and a low breach chance. Low. So the army's missile is the upgraded version basically of the Artemis missile. Hermes is the messenger god in Greek mythology that delivers all the other gods' messages, I believe. God of speed, possibly. But so, what do I need to get to use the Hermes missile and the burst laser and Artemis missile? I would need three upgrades of power bars so 60 scrap right there and then i would need three of these so a hundred and sixty five more scrap so you're talking 210 scrap to get all of these working i can get the army's missile working right now by just disabling my other two and powering this up but you pretty much want a laser because you don't want to waste all your missiles. So nothing else happened. We got really lucky and we're going to jump out of this sector. So I could jump somewhere else. But now this button is open. This button is here. One there before. Next sector. Here we go. Um, two lines actually on the rebel fleet. There is a warning line and then there is a white line. And I think if you hit the white line, you just lose automatically. If you get the warning line, you you can fight your way out of it. I'm not certain. We will see that at some point in the future, I'm sure. So, now we have a new menu because we've actually gotten out of the sector. This is the sector breakdown. We started in Sector 1 here, and we can have to work our way through some of these sectors to way over here. So, we have option 1 is the NG controlled sector, and option 2 is the civilian sector. If I took option 2, the only places I could go would be a hostile sector or a hostile sector. <laughs> then you would be stuck on hostile sectors for at least if you go on this one it's gonna be hostile hostile and then if you go on this one hostile again if you go on this one you could get out of hostile so if you just wanted a fight you would check hostile uh, there is one nebula in this pattern all of this is randomized each time and nebula is just gonna be lots and lots of nebula places lots and lots of um, local anomalies that are going to affect your ship usually in a bad way but sometimes in a good way the right path for an easy pacifist like me is to take the NG controlled sector 
then take this civilian sector, this civilian sector, this civilian sector, this civilian sector, and this civilian sector. And then at the end, we've got no choice, it's going to be the hostile. Are we going to get this far? Probably not. Probably not. But we're going to race and see how far we can go. Mm -mm. So if we, it's showing by blacking out those lower ones that there is no way to get to those lower things if you choose this. And if I to choose the lower ones, there's no way to get to the top three ones. So it's showing you what you miss out on, which is helpful. We arrive in NG space. You, the fall of the Federation has brought tough times on these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. So we've had an NG crew member before. Let's see. So now we see a distress beacon. We could try and help people, but it might be a trap. And we're just trying to race. We're just trying to be pacifist. We're just going to run. Not help people. We're... All right. So fuel. I'm going to take the opportunity to get more fuel. I only have nine now. Getting six fuel is worth it. Okay, so I need to get lucky and have this be able to connect. Sometimes these aren't able to connect and then we're in trouble. We'd have to back pedal and go like down here to connect. You find a rebel automated scout floating near the beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. Okay, so it, I can either attempt to download the ship's data stores and get information, which will probably lead to a quest or something, or I cannot risk it and strip it for useful scrap. And I'm just not going to risk it. keep our jump so if we go to the distress signal we're probably gonna have to fight so since we're trying to avoid that let's go here instead you over here mantis calm chat we haven't run into the mantis yet the one on the right is starting to rot take him down take off his fingers put him out of the airlock they certainly don't seem to be friendly, so I'm just going to attempt to remain concealed. You power down non-essential symptoms and then attempt to remain unnoticed. It looks like they're about to leave when suddenly they turn and set course towards your weapons power. Shoot. Didn't work. We're going to get in a fight. Didn't want to get in a fight. <sighs> Let's do this. We tried our best. Even though I unpaused, it unpaused, I'm going to just turn around and pause again. We need the shields down. We need the weapons down. I, at the moment, don't have enough scrap to get, like, two upgrades to the weapons and two things. That would be the minimum I would need to replace the... Artemis with the Hermes. That's all fine. All right, we should be okay. Hopefully. Oops. He. They apparently have some missiles that went right through, and now we're in trouble. Uh. We gotta go repair that fast and let's see. It's unavailable when the ship is in danger. Darn it. So I can't upgrade the auto deflection. So let's see. 
I'll just leave my fire fires at the same place. I'll shoot a missile and the shields. That was two missiles. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Three fuel, one drone part, and 27 scrap. Nice. So, while we're here, let's go ahead and stick this guy to repair this section so we can see our sensors. Let's go ahead and put him back in here. If he was damaged by a lack of oxygen, I would put him in the med bay, but we fortunately didn't take any damage there. So, let's see. I want to see if I can... It would be 85 to get uh, two more here, so we can't do that. But we can upgrade this. So autopilot one fourth evasion. That means now I can move my guy out of that section. And since I'm low on crew, I can now take this guy and put him somewhere more useful like weapons and have the ship itself auto evade fights. Still can't get to the exit. The rebel fleet is still coming. I mean, just crazy. An entire. This fleet must be huge. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings, particularly crushed between two large rocks. Uh, partially crushed between two rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belt without the proper equipment. So I can either try and dislodge the ship by shooting the rocks, or I can destroy and loot the ship. They're just pirates. Um, which one is the pacifist action here? Usually it's the second one. I mean, if I just attacked them, then they would, I would avoid the fight. But... This sounds like the more pacifist option to dislodge them, so let's just dislodge them. As a few careful shops, you expose a mineral patch in the rock that reacts violently to your weapon. The shockwave force forces you back, pelts against your hull. When you regain control, you find that there's not much left of the ship. So we tried to help them. Maybe we took some hull damage there? I don't know. We vibrated. But we got some scrap, even even though we failed. So, following the same thought, just gonna keep that up. Now we have a one and a half evasion, and we can take the guy off, which is nice. Let's jump to the exit and keep on going. As you can see at this point, I've gotten twice as far, if not probably about four times as far as I have on any previous run by running. And that's what this game at the beginning is gonna be about. So an advanced automated ship remains stationed near the small rebel space station. So this is indicate it's a storage vessel for, meta for military goods. I can attack it and try and get some resources, but I'm just going to keep avoiding. And I avoid, it pays off, and I can just jump. To the next sector we go. Each sector for sure is more difficult. But it's probably each jump is more difficult too. I'm not sure exactly how this system works. But I would bet it's each jump gets a little bit harder. So the longer you stay somewhere, it probably calculates the strength a little bit harder each time. So we're going to Zoltan controlled s sector now. I don't believe we've met the Zoltans. I'm not even sure if we saw any NG ships there. You've entered Zoltan territory. This species is not renowned for giving 
anything for nothing, but you can always be assured of fair hearing. Anything for nothing. They don't really care about anything, I guess is what that means. <clears throat> That's fine. So, hopefully this can reach this. Otherwise, we're going to have to go through this nebula, which could be a huge pain. And if you're going to do a location this close to the left side of the screen, you have to do it in your first or second turn. But you're going to be in trouble. You're going to run into the rebels. A mantis outcast sometimes makes the mistake of taking the Zoltan for an easy uh, game. Scout moves in to attack while boarding party beams aboard from a nearby transport. Oops. So we are in trouble. You know, it's easier to do this over here and just open all the doors and then while well, you're paused and notice that it did not open the exterior doors when you opened all the other doors you have to come back and still do that but I'm gonna just suck all the oxygen out of every room there isn't a current crew member in and leave the crew members alone. And I think that's about the best we can do with that. And then at the same time, we're still fighting this guy. So it's not just a matter of we are fighting the mantis creatures. There are these giant bugs. They look like praying mantises. Not just fighting them, you're also fighting these guys. See, they have a teleporter. That's what this item is. It allows them to teleport people from their ship to ours. We could, at some point in the future, have a teleporter of our own, which might be useful. Uh, let's go ahead and lock the door on the oxygen room, just so it's protected. But, no, we, we'll do that later. So, I think that's as best as we can do paused. Let's see what we can do. Uh, I think we're gonna lose. I think we're gonna lose bad. The mantis are too strong. I mean, wow. Just, wow. We sucked out most of the oxygen ourselves. We have no evade because we took damage. We have no shields because we took shields. We do have a hull, uh, but the engines are critical and we're missing a pilot and intruders are de detected. We've just got everything possible going wrong here. One more hit will blow up their ship. So if this guy can survive, So maybe I can, if I can get this guy to go in here and close this door, maybe I can get him to survive long enough and let all the other people suffocate. Odds are it's too late even for this and he's gonna die before he even gets in the room. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Yay! All crew members on my ship have died. The ship will drift forever. And... Or until something destroys it. That was 302 score. So, new high score. We got... A little... Close to twice as much score on easy than we did on normal because we got further we've 
done uh, more scrap collected, most that, and most that. Session. Now, when it says session, does it mean every time I exit the program and come back? Because I do record recordings in a row, and it's just easier not to exit out of the program and start over. So, we could be skewing that. Most jumps survived. We have one crewman's made 13 jumps. But no achievements yet. We're gonna have to, we're probably making some progress on some. But, oh, and it tells you what we need to be doing. We won't go over all the achievements, we'll let them be surprises. But, there's certainly things we need to do. We'll let them be surprises until we have, have need to, um, really look them up. And, well, we did better than most. So I think we see the strategy here that we want to do on FTL. Not going to be doing probably much different from what we did this time. We're just going to be doing pacifist runaway things until we can at least get powerful enough to survive fights and make it further. But that's the end of this episode. As always, like, share, subscribe, and watch every second of the video. All of that helps. And have a good evening.